Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading will be for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus between the period of now. In January 2019, I want to thank you guys for joining me for the reading. For those of you who just found the channel, welcome. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. People really forget to do that. We're going to go ahead and keep that. It's called the False Halo. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we're looking at the karmic energy for Aquarius right now. So, this is just, this can be about a lot of things. It feels like it's just about somebody who's being fake, somebody who's pretending to be nice, but they're not really that nice of a person. It's Pluto, Neptune energy, by the way. Um, this is seeing the bad side of somebody, somebody showing their bad side, somebody dropping the veil. Somebody dropping the persona. This is about shadow energy as well for the Virgo. For the what am I saying? Not Virgo Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Karmic energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus between now and January 2019. We have the Troublemaker. Look at this little bad dude. That little turtle there watching him. Stopping to watch. But you know that turtle wins the race. If we're going back to fables, the turtle slow and steady wins the race. This is somebody who's acting too quickly, brashly, without much thought. This could be somebody planning to do harm to someone. Somebody planning to do harm to the Virgo. Oh, why do I keep saying Virgo? That is bizarre. It's for Aquarius. Where is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Some of the Aquarius is going to be dealing with the Virgo. I don't know what that's about. First time I've done that today. I keep saying that. It's weird. We have family. That's really weird. For some reason, I'm getting this and this is the same person, so I don't know what that's about. I have to look further. You see how their clothes look so similar? To somebody who's acting crazy. Look, it's two different... People split personalities. Somebody who's acting crazy on one hand, doing all kind of crazy stuff in private, thinking all kind of crazy stuff in private. And then, you know, around other people, they're acting normal. <laughs> what that's about. Then they're acting really normal. This can also be a type of inner turmoil around the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Somebody who, on the surface, seems so normal and so okay but maybe in the background they're having a hard time of it you know they're having a hard time suppressing their thoughts and emotions or anything or it could be the aquarius who's feeling like that so what does aquarius need to know between the period of now and the end of january 2019 happy new year's guys we're almost there 2018 was a bugaboo was a bugaboo really weird year. July 2019 will be so much more interesting in terms of reaching your goals and feeling satisfied. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. This is the Aquarius letting some things go because it doesn't have to do with family. It could be someone in your family who did you dirty or got on your nerves or whatever, but you're just letting it go because you don't want to damage the relationship. You just want to keep your family intact, especially over the holidays, putting on a brave face. This can also be the Aquarius. You know, they're just letting things go when they may be really upset in the background, but they're just... Kind of letting things go and putting on a nice face um, over this period of time to, for the holidays or to not show their hand with this ace of swords here like they have a plan and if they show how angry or upset they are about something then it can disrupt the atmosphere you know, with the six of cups so they're just going to stay quiet, try to get along with everybody, 
and stay cool because it's the best thing to do right now not to make any disruption. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Focus on their family, focus on their children, their grandchildren, and just having a nice time. And in general, I feel like a lot of Aquarius are having a nice time. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Eight of Pentacles now. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. This to me looks like the Aquarius really ought to keep their thoughts to themselves. They ought to keep their plans. Uh, this is so obvious. I think for a lot of people even watching, it's like, so what that? I know that I keep my plans to myself, but I feel like in a public environment, especially if you've been drinking and having a good time, you might trust somebody who you shouldn't trust and give out too much information or even out of pride. You might say, somebody might be trying to coax you and say, oh, well, this guy or this woman has this and this going on, or they said this to this person and that green monster jealousy rears its ugly head in a way and then you say something or you divulge divulge something out of pride you know this feels like pride here out of pride well no i'm not that stupid i'm looking out for myself i'm looking out for for, for my um I can't find the word. I'm looking out for myself. I'm looking out for my interests. I'm looking out for my interests with this Eight of Pentacles. I'm not that stupid, you know. I know what's going on with this Two of Swords. And then you might, you might give away too much information because someone is trying to be provocative with you. This could be your kids. This could be someone around in your family unit. Just trying to be provocative to get information out of you. So just be careful not to let your pride, that's the whole point, not to let your pride get the better of you. For me, this is letting your pride get the better of you. You know, pride is ego, shadow energy. This reading started off from a karmic standpoint about shadow energy. Don't let your pride get the better of you, you know. This could also be a partner or somebody in your life showing more attention to someone, making someone else feel more valuable than you. And again, you lash out because your feelings are hurt or you feel hurt and sad about it. And then you react in a way that you wouldn't normally because you're a little bit jealous. It doesn't really feel like jealousy. It just feels like, you, like the person isn't giving you the admiration or attention that you deserve. But something still about this is about pride and ego. You have to be confident. This person is confident. You know, regardless of anything else, they may be indecisive, but that doesn't mean they're not confident. They're still confident. They can sit there by the water with their eyes closed, calm, thinking, reflecting, making plans, not letting somebody go with them. This is a test here in this two of swords. You're being tested. Will you let your pride and ego get the better of you, Aquarius? This is the test. I want to take this one because it wanted to come out. This is the Magician, Major Arcana. It's pretty hard to trick that guy. It's pretty hard to get information out of him. He's going to let it go when he's ready. When it works to his advantage. When it works to your advantage, Aquarius. We have the Two of Swords again, right on top of the Two of Swords. If you think I make this up, I don't think you need to think that, you know. Be confident in your plans, and it will work to your favor. Don't let things out sooner than you need to out of pride or being defensive or challenging even, even someone else's supposed authority. Someone else thinks that they're the big boss, they're the big planner around your resources or the plans for the holiday or whatever. Yeah, okay, you can play that. It feels like some gender, like macho something here. I don't know why. I make the money with this eight of. 
Pentacles. I say where the money goes. Okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting here. But in the meantime, look at that. With that high priestess here now. You know better. You know better. Make your plans. Make, you know, just keep the peace, whatever. Don't let people provocate you or make a provocative thing that makes you react in a way that's not beneficial to you. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're going to go ahead and pull one of the good tarot guys. I think we got a good information out of that reading for Aquarius. It's for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the final little piece of advice that they can use over the next few weeks? If you did like the reading, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Let's go ahead and take that one. We have the Three of Cups. You know, that's just something about enjoying what you have, enjoying the holidays, keeping the peace, because it will work to your benefit now, in any case. So, we have celebration, enjoying community sharing, exuberance, team spirit, common goal, friendship, joy, and excitement flow among all those gathered. I embrace being part of something larger than myself. It's a time to delight in the camaraderie as I experience the greater whole that is my community or team. We buoy each other and play together as we co-create. We are friends, family, and companions sharing our experiences. It is a time to remember we must accept each other as we are with both shadow and light within. Both shadow and light within. Incredible. Shadow and light. Remember we talked about that shadow energy. We're going to go ahead and leave it there for Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot in that reading. You might want to go back and listen to it and take heed of some of the notice that was giving about sharing because you can share, but I would estimate that you probably, you can share what you want to share, but don't let someone trick you into sharing too much out of being provocative and you falling back on your ego, that dark shadow energy of the ego and pride. We're going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy the reading. I will see you on the other side of 2019, God willing. Take care and Happy New Year. Bye-bye, guys.